so we saw in the last video that we can use cliff to create very big kits to populate our level using level design techniques however this is not the only thing we can do with that kits technique we can actually create many different things for example we can create the ground so let's create a smaller assets now so what i'm gonna do is I have a collection of different assets that I want to use and it's very easy just click on the collection click local collection and you can save your favorite assets here so that you don't need to find them again so what I'm gonna do is to go to my blueprints folder here and I'm gonna right click new blueprint class and I'm just gonna select actor BP ground let's just say small okay zero one and we can put it here and what I'm gonna do now is to create a skeletal mesh so I can have a preview of the size of my of my ground I'm, I'm gonna do the same as I did as the other video I'm gonna create an instance static mesh here and in the instance static mesh I'm gonna go to my content browser I'm gonna browse for my ground assets I'm gonna put one of those here let's just say I want to put this one here Nothing has changed because I haven't applied any instance. So I'm going to go to instance here. I'm going to click plus. And this will give me a preview of the ground. So what I'm going to do is to change it to another one. Smaller. Maybe this one. Perhaps this one. This one looks like it could work. Maybe we can use this one. And what I'm going to do is just to duplicate this. So we can duplicate this thing we can transform just transform a little bit rotate you can even scale it if you want we can do the same here let's let's move the location here rotate a little bit to add more variation here and now that you have this ones what you can do is to keep duplicating those let's just say this one we're gonna move in y direction so we can have like a bigger area to put our mesh then we will do the same we will keep duplicating Okay, now that I have this, let's add more variation. So what I'm gonna do is to create another instance static mesh. And this one will be my default group. Attach. And this one will be attach here. Nothing, it's uh, linked to the skeletal mesh actually. And this one will be my ground 01. And this one will be my ground 02. Let's add more variation. How? Well, very easy. We just need to add another static mesh. Let's just say we want to add this one. And add another instance here. Let's find our instances. Click Add. add. Let's find another one. Perhaps this one. Okay, this one looks like it can work. So what I'm gonna do is to just place it randomly into different places where I, I could use it in different positions here I could rotate it all right I can do the same here and then transform in Y rotate a little bit beautiful what I can do now is actually duplicate this one to create a bigger floor. So I'm gonna click a sync, which is a utility, and I'm gonna duplicate this one. This will be my ground 01, and this will be my ground 02. And my sync will I'm gonna attach it to the root. And then in my ground, I'm gonna duplicate this one. Alright, 
this will be part of my scene so I'm gonna move it here I can duplicate my scene and I can duplicate my ground and I can move it here and what I can do is do the same maybe move it move the thing okay just like that and then what I can do is do the same for the ground too I'm gonna duplicate this one this will be my ground 5 duplicate my scene and put it here then select my scene duplicate this one rotate it just like that there is one more thing we need to do to make this complete we need to add collision and very easily we can go to our static mesh editor and we can go to collision and then auto convex collision and then just click apply you can play with the settings to find something more precise or something more simplified then I can click on this one and I can create another collision here using the same method click apply now I have my collision what I can do now is to put my blueprint here so I go to my blueprint here and I go to my ground and notice that my character is still here so I'm gonna delete it so I'm going to control B select this one click my skeletal mesh and delete it compile and my character is gone so what I can do now is just duplicate this one to create different variations for my ground and since I have collision I don't need this one so now I can have my ground here and you can do the, do the same to create large ground large ground variations small ground variations or medium large medium uh, ground variations so you can check this and choose you know just duplicate this ones and go here just like that okay so what I can actually do is to move this one down I can actually play here if I right click and current camera location I can play here and I actually have collision all right so this is a really good method to create you know fast ground in a real engine 5 remember that this is not the most optimized way however is being used in the real engine 5 demo and for sure we can handle this amount of polygons so if you like this video give us a like subscribe share it with your friends and let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to watch and if you are looking for some help and you're making a game check the links in the description and i'll see you in the next one